Corey KD Overdrive and Fall Bliss. A short but competitive field, Scotty, for our feature event. We got a homecoming for Mr. KD Overdrive, Mr. Mason, back after uh, spending most of the year in Maine racing this year. Yeah, he's coming off a couple of nice wins there for uh, McGuire Sowers down uh, stateside, down at uh, Cumberland. And uh, what about last week, Fall Bliss? How'd he look again uh, coming back to his old form here? So he's going to be looking to, uh, to go back to back here this afternoon. But a nice, nice top class indeed. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Fall Bliss definitely, uh, you know, he's getting a swagger back this year for sure, says the veteran pacer. Of course, Bugger Max, uh, top class regulars, got rail control, uh, you know, with these uh, top three finishes that I always brag about in the picks yeah. in the front. I dabbed him the one, two, three kid now. That's what yeah. I'm going to call him because he just <laughs> never misses the board or misses the yeah. ticket. So, yeah. and of course, uh, another Downey Entry City of the Year, Brandon's Glory. Don't forget him. He's probably he could very well be the favorite. So it's going to be a great race uh, to end out our card here uh, for this afternoon as our live races It'll be race six uh, simulcast all day, all afternoon and this evening as well for all of our uh, Charlottetown players at Red Shores. They've switched back to the afternoon card. Uh, they'll be going here, I believe, at 12.30, 13 dashes. So they've shifted from the evening to, to the afternoon. So for all our betters, get in early like I did. And uh, <laughs> and then you, you'll be <laughs> all set. Sure you did. Yeah, I'll be watching them tonight <laughs> on YouTube when I get home. So. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Ashley's around selling 50-50 as always. we got a cool... Uh, brisk uh, fall afternoon here, but great day for racing nonetheless. And uh, Scotty, yeah, we, we got a, we got a special, special guest here today. We, don't we do, we do. We got Rocky Skierman over from uh, Prince Edward Island. He's going to call a couple races here this afternoon, and maybe join you down here for a couple. So welcome, Rocky. Hope you have a great day here at Exhibition Park. It'd be nice to hear him up in the booth. I remember uh, years ago when we still had the old grandstand and. Rock was over for a few races and announced, so it'll be, uh, be nice to hear him again high atop the judges' stand, we'll say now. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, maybe he can make some better picks than I've been doing. Well, my average yeah. is taking a hurt in here, I'll tell yeah. you, the last few weeks, I even with the you. short horse fields. But, yeah. but uh, yeah, and that also means you're going back upstairs again Apparently, for a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've yeah. You so. been, you been the catch announcer here. Just, I mean, yeah, been, catch driving assignment here you, for the last three or four weeks. You've been doing uh, a great job. i just yeah, been kind of sitting here watching the show. I love it. Yeah, so. Thank you very much, Kurt. We're getting set to go here for race number one on this beautiful fall afternoon in St. John, October 5th. Six dash program, race one. Top of the stretch, Little Manny, the two-year-old, leaving from post one, John Davidson. Windermere, Brian's gal, and Sean McClellan from post two. And we have Windermere Payday and Colin DeCourcy from post three. And four to the outside, Kendall Courageous, Clayton Stevenson. Field of four, here they come. They're off and pacing good start. Three of them vying for the early lead. Little Manny on the inside as they dip into the first turn. Then getting away second, Windermere, Brian's gal. And now Kendall Courageous goes up and grabs second, looking for that two-hole trip. Then back in third, Windermere, Brian's gal. She settled about three lengths off in third, then a gap of three more to the early trailer as they make their way to the opening quarter, and that's Windermere Payday can see them all. They're single file now as Manny leads that opening quarter 30 and a three fifths up on the inside, though. Coming to the top goes Kendall Courageous, found some racing room. Then that leaves Manny back, little Manny back in second. Then racing third, Windermere, Brian's gal. Three-eighths of the mile complete and trailing. Windermere payday to the opening half. They come. Clayton Stevenson has found the front end here. On the outside now, Little Manny coming out to challenge from second. Third, Windermere, Brian's gal. And trailing Windermere payday angles to the outside. That half, 1-0-1 oh, one, as they round the paddock turn. Drive on to the five-eighths. And it's Kendall Courageous, two and a half. Little Manny, a bit skippy in second. Then outside third, driving up, that's Windermere Payday. And uh, trailing the field now, Windermere, Brian's gal. They step to the three quarters. And under a drive, Kendall Courageous still leads. Three quarters, one, 33 and one. Kendall Courageous, Little Manny. Still second, then on the outside third, Windermere Payday. And 
trailing fourth, Windermere, Brian Scal, and off stride and on the run, the leader, Kendall Courageous. She made a break last week and she's made another classly one. On the outside now comes Windermere, Payday to come up and get it here and little Manny second, but it's gonna be Windermere, Payday here in the first, little Manny second. Then the third, Windermere, Brian's gal, and Kendall Courageous making that costly break around the 7 8 pole. And the time for the mile, 206 and 2. 206 and 2. And your unofficial winner, Windermere, Payday, and Colin DeCourcy. And here we are back at uh, Exhibition Park Raceway and uh, driver trainer Charles Miles is about to give his uh, after race pass for his two year old little Manny who just competed in the first race and finished second and uh, now they get the pampering for the next uh, few hours gets his uh, after race shower and everything that goes with it. Checking to make sure the temperature of the water is just right for them. Every horse at the racetrack on race day and, and every day jogging always has a nice shower. And a few days a week get a nice soapy shampoo bath. Get all shined up and back to the stall with some hay and some fresh cold water for a nice cooling out. and. Uh, and later get back out and get all groomed up, shined up and everything taken care of and checked all over before they're back to bed for the night. Anyways, we'll uh, let you back to enjoy the races and uh, we'll be back shortly with some more video. Here in race number two, the starters approaching the starting gate. Field of five here in this second race. We have Whiskey to Wine, Dr. Mitch Downey. Coke can Johnny T from post two. Euless Galant. War a wee upside with Wayne Watson. Jamantha scores poor post four for Clayton Stevens. And the outside five this time around is Montrose Hope and John Davidson. A field of five across the track here. Race two. Here they come. They're off and pacing Coke and Johnny T out for it. Whiskey to Wine gets away racing in second. Into the paddock turn they go. Then Warawee upside. Got away racing third. Jamantha fourth. Montrose Hope. Remember last week he was out every step of the way and still returned a winner. And he's on the move right from the back of the pack already is Coke and Johnny T. Out by about four. Then Whiskey to Wine got away racing second. Montrose Hope, his first over trip now gets him to third. Then Warawi upside and your trailer Jamantha, that opening quarter, 31 and 2. Up front, Coke and Johnny T. Out by a length and a half. Then racing second, Whiskey to Wine. Stalled outside, Montrose Hope. Then inside is Warawi upside. Stuck inside fourth and trailing fifth, Jamantha through the stretch, racing to the half mile point, and it's Cocan Johnny T, your halfway leader. Whiskey to wine in the two hole trip, then Montrose Hope has gone in for a little breather, racing back in third. War we upside, and Jamantha still trails at half. 102 and 1. Rounding the paddock turn, they've hit the 5 eighths now. Cocan Johnny T. Looking to go gate to wire. Whiskey to wine, though, has had a perfect trip. And Dr. Downey 
pulls on the right line now to the outside. Then third, Montrose Hope, and he's within striking distance. And were we upside and trailing Jamantha three quarters? 133 and three as they round the turn for the stretch drive. Coke and Johnny T. Outside, hitting hard, second whiskey to wine. Right there, Montrose Hope, an eighth of a mile to go. On the outside, whiskey to wine, presses hard. Cocan Johnny T on the inside, but it's going to be Cocan Johnny T. Whiskey to wine gets the deuce. Montrose Hope up the cones, finishes third ahead of Warwe upside, and then Jamantha. Time for the mile, 2.03 and 2. Race number three, top of the stretch, has one, Grins Little Fleur, two, Skippy, three, Shy Arty, four is Windermere, I'm all right, five on the outside is Magical Alex. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Good looking start. Magical Alex firing from the outside for the lead as they race into the first turn. Grins Little Flirt battling back at the rail. Inside showing third as they race around the turn. That is Windermere, I'm all right. Back there in fourth is Skippy, your early trailer. That is Shy Erty. On up the back stretch they go, moving to the opening quarter. They are led by Grins Little Flirt in line to Clayton Stevens. At the rail in second is Magical Alex, looking at it from third. That is Windermere, I'm all right. Past the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. They head into the far turn for the first time. It's Grin's little flirt on top. Magical Alex at the rail in second, looking at it third is Windermere, I'm all right. From fourth, that is Skippy, and your trailer is Shyardy as they swing off the 3 8 turn for the half. No change in position down the stretch in front of us for the first time. Grin's little flirt on top. Here comes Windermere, I'm all right, up on the outside second. Magical Alex at the rail in third. Up on the outside fourth is Shyardy, and your trailer is Skippy by the half in 101 and 1. They head around the 5 8 turn, go to the back stretch, second and final time. Grins little flirt, your leader. Here comes Windermere, I'm all right, up on the outside second. Magical Alex at the rail in third. Up on the outside, Shy Arty is fourth, and the trailer is Skippy. Down the back stretch they go, moving to the three quarters. Windermere, I'm all right, gets a neck in front. Grins little flirt at the rail in second, up on the outside, third is Shy Arty. One, 32 and four by the three quarters. They head to the seven eighths turn final time and Windermere, I'm all right, has taken over the lead. Up on the outside, Magical Alex is second. Coming wide third is Shy Arty. Through the stretch for the mile they come. Windermere, I'm all right. Magical Alex up on the outside, Shy Arty. Right down to the wire. Windermere, I'm all right to win it. Magical Alex is second. Shy Arty will be three. Time for the mile, 2.03 and 4. All right, and we're back here. And uh, a little bit of uh, live video. Uh, we were having a little trouble with live streams, so we're rolling in back to the paddock this week. Check it out for, uh, I believe we're coming up on race number four. We get Shambro Destiny, JJ Brian, Art Sleek, Philanthropist, and Emperor with Jeff Lois. They're here in the paddock getting ready. They're all discussing the last race and all the mistakes they made or didn't make. Obviously, the winner made the least amount of mistakes. We got our photogenic John Davison with his own mayor, J.J. Brienne. And a little hello to all those people down country watching. And then uh, we'll see somebody from Bangor making his way on. A little big gray horse, philanthropist. 
Alex McNeil. And Kate. Seeing Dad's way this weekend. They've got total control of the stable. They just finished second with the, the superstar Alex Horse, Magical Alex. The last one. And the Emperor. It's all ready to rock and roll. Last minute instructions between the teammates. Our paddock judge, Mr. Smith, come down, make sure everything's all set before he releases them onto the track. Another nice day of racing here in St. John. Uh, our last race. Our uh, live stream wasn't working, but we had a guest announcer, I believe, Rocky Skirman announced the last one. Uh, maybe we'll hear more from him here today. The entries now making their way through the yard and onto the track. Fourth race of the afternoon has won Jumbo Destiny to JJ Brienne. Three is Art Sleek. Four is Philanthropist. Five on the outside is Emperor. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Good looking star. JJ Brienne between horses for the lead as they race into the first turn. Turbo Destiny at the rail in second. Coming up on the outside third as they race around the turn. That is Art Sleek at the rail now fourth. As they race around the turn, that is the gray philanthropist. And your early trailer is Emperor as they move to the back stretch first time. They are on their way to the opening quarter, led by J.J. Brienne in line to John Davidson. At the rail in second is Charmbo Destiny, moving into third now. That is Philanthropist by the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. Back there in fourth is Art Sleek, and your early trailer is Emperor as they race around the 3 8 turn for the first time. No change in position. They are still led by J.J. Brienne. At the rail second, Charmbo Destiny, looking at it from third, is Philanthrop Philanthropist. Back there in fourth, that is Art Sleek, and tipping to the outside trailing is Emperor. They are now halfway home. No change in position. Still J.J. Brienne, your leader, by the half in 59-2. and two. Heading into the 5 eighths turn for the second and final time. J.J. Brienne is the leader. Jambo Destiny at the rail in second. From third is Philanthropist. Emperor up on the outside, and your trailer as they go to the back stretch is Art Sleek. Down the back stretch they go, moving to the three quarters. J.J. Brienne is the leader. Up on the outside now and challenging second. That is Philanthropist at the rail in third. Turnbow Destiny by the three quarters in one thirty flat. Heading into the far turn for the final time. It's J.J. Brienne, your leader. Up on the outside, Philanthropist at their outside. Inside in third, that is Charmbo Destiny. Off the 7 8 turn for home they come. J.J. Brienne on top. Up on the outside, Philanthropist is coming on. They're battling it out right down to the wire, and Philanthropist gets up for trites. J.J. Brienne second. Charmbo Destiny will be third. Time for the mile, two minutes, two-fifths. And here we are for race five. We're going to start the video from outside. I'll buy a real big with driver Mark Hag. So they come through the yard. 
our venture out to the racetrack. Chase in Cancun, John Davison, Katik, Dr. Mitchell Downey, HB Pursuto Dragjet with Wayne Watson, and the three year old sensational Philly pickpocket princess driver Todd Trites right off of a fresh off five win performance last night in Truro. Starters for the fifth race behind the gate, approaching the top of the stretch real big. Mark Hag, Jason Cancun, and John Davidson. Critique, Dr. Mitch Downey. HP Pashido Dragjet, Wayne Watson. Pick Pocket Princess, Todd Trites. Field of five behind the gate. Five across the racetrack, and here they come. Off and pacing, and a good start. Way outside, Pick Pocket Princess. HP Pashido drag jet real big into the first turn and it's real big HP Pashido drag jet hitting hard second then can chasing Cancun back in third gapped out about three lengths then critique racing in fourth then taking back pickpocket princess and she'll go with plan B in race from the back of the pack and their single file and the Hagler stacks them up here with real big that opening quarter 29 and four and it's real big hp pashido drag jet sits in the pocket journey racing second chasing cancun racing third as they pass the three eights then critique and trailing the field single file order still pick pocket princess but she's on the move as a race in front of the judges stand first time and it's a Hagler straight up on real big they were by the half in a minute and two fists pick pocket princess already up to second on the outside HP Pashido drag jet locked in now third critique will take some outside flow fourth and chasing Cancun as they race on to the three quarters and they're neck and neck for the top and on the outside pickpocket princess trying a different tactic today and she has cleared the lead now for Todd Trites a red hot Trites three quarters one thirty and uh, three fists around the turn and they're heading for the drive home in this final eighth and Trites looking to do it again. He's got Pickpocket Princess on top and real big second. HP Pashido Drag Jet. They're in deep stretch. And the Philly Pickpocket Princess shows her heels to the field. Trites gives her a slap on the rear end for good measure here. Appreciation for her effort. And a nice smile here. Two minutes flat. Pickpocket Princess. The mile here this afternoon. She did it from the back of the pack. The mile, two minutes flat. Congratulations. Now making their way back from the winner's circle is the horse philanthropist. And the entourage that he has followed him. He's going to let uh, trainer Mr. Bob McNeil know that the job done by the kids was... Uh, Superb. Now we're gonna let you see the horse after after he's uh, come back from his winter circles and the celebrations are over and they make your way to the test booth and the procedure. As you can see there's a, a pretty good staff on hand for the McNeil stables. They have uh, three races in the day so it does take a, a few people to take things to get it all done. Yeah, you know, uh, that's a big three, good stable and energy. I, I used to race 20 As you can see, there's not much uh, conversation has to go on because the conversation is full here as they take and strip their gear off their horse. 
trainers and grooms and staff here at the testing booth. Make sure everything is right. Identify the horse. And make sure everybody is who they are. And, and Gray Horse looks like quite happy after he wins. So they'll strip all the rigging off. And next motion is to have his shower. <laughs> And as you can see, it's always good to have a little humor in the game. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll get back to you shortly. Okay, we're about to have the parading or the final class for the afternoon at Exhibition Park Raceway. It happens to be our top class for the day. We're here in the paddock as they get ready. One horse, Bugger Max, lined up and ready to roll. What? Yeah, we are back in the paddock, the top class. Earlier in the day, we started out the day meeting with Steve Mason and he's going to close off our show his horse first time back racing in about a month after he did his tour in Maine hey guys, his assistant for the afternoon Ron Fowley who you can see around taking pictures but quite a bit. Put some on Facebook there. You can follow a lot of the stuff. Steve. And our last horse. A nice little horse that win this last last week. Fabulous. Wait for his driver, Dr. Mitchell Downey, to make his way in. There he comes now. After helping the stable make it out, Dr. Downey. Well, as you can see, there's lots of work going on in the backside. We get another cart of racing off. Today was a beautiful day for racing. Weather wise, we had six races, five horse fields. Seems like our fields are expanding every week. Love to see this sport continue here in St. John. A few more horses being bought every year. And next weekend there'll be no racing here. There'll be a big great card on the island and also a horse sale. So, Thanks very much, Kurt. And again, great job, as usual. Stutters for the six behind the gate. It's our top class. Approaching the top of the stretch, we have Bugger Max and Mark Hag. City of the Year and Mike Downey. Scoring three, Brandon Sclory, John Davidson. KD Overdrive and Steve Mason. Outside to Fall Bliss, Dr. Mitch Downey, five across the track. Here they come. They are off and pacing Brandon's glory. Quick stepping out of there, looking for the early lead. And he's got it round the first turn. Brandon's glory. But on the inside now, Bugger Max takes it from him. Brandon's glory racing second on the outside. And he'll back off now behind the leader, racing second. Then Fall Bliss ducks in third, followed by City of the Year. And trailing the field, KD Overdrive. The Hagler has another one off the front end today. And this time it's Bugger Max by that opening quarter. 29 and 4. Up front, Bugger Max. Then racing second. Length and a half away, Brandon's Glory. Outside here comes Fall Bliss out to move. 
and he's driving out from third then city of the year gapped out fourth kd overdrive can see them all as they approach the half mile point and the Hagler on top with bugger max outside fall bliss brandon's glory under a tight line third they were by the half a minute and two fifths and it's city of the year kd overdrive can see them all as they race past the five eighths and on up the back stretch driving on to the three quarters neck and neck for the lead inside bugger max fall bliss second brandon's glory third city of the year he's got some pace watch for him on the outside fourth kd overdrive he's not far off about four lengths off three quarters 131 and one as they round the turn bugger max three quarter length lead the best fall bliss brandon's glory looks for room way wide city of the year and kd overdrive down the stretch they come and then it's bugger max brandon's glory just couldn't get the room bugger max a gate to wire effort here and he's been a solid pacer all season long and he gets a well deserved win here this afternoon right off the front end time for the mile 201 and one and it's bugger max with the Hagler taking the finale in our top class